written on this over the yes. years, and several sources can be cited. The first and most obvious would be Chuck E. Cheese, the star of the famous chain of restaurants under the same Yeah, Chuck E. Cheese is going to be replaced with the now. cast members seemingly take influence from these unintentionally creepy mascots, and with Chuck E. being the star attraction and the lead singer in the band, it's pretty obvious Freddy is his variant for Fazbear's universe, especially when we look at that costume with the telltale top hat and bow tie. However, we can also look to another furry pizzeria mascot, Billy Bob from Showbiz Pizza. Wait, wasn't Billy Bob also that in a custom map? Was more importantly, also a bear. The name Freddy Fazbear also has roots in another pop culture icon, it would seem. The Muppets character, Fozzie Bear, whose name was based on his creator, Fazfazakus. So Freddy is a mixture of many influences as well as having his own distinct and iconic design. God. With Freddy now accounted for, let's move on to a quick recap of his other forms over the years and the history behind some of those designs. Listen. Is the threat real? Black Hawk. This might be more than three episodes. It doesn't feel anything. It's Cold War. We've been waiting for Cold War. I didn't get to record it then that day. Into disrepair, this withered version of Freddy was the original version of the animatronic intended for the Freddy Fazbear's Pizza location. Okay, Freddy doesn't look exactly the same. He proved a bit too creepy for a family audience, but was later refurbished and so showed up in a repaired state for the original. His eyes missing. Okay, no one cares about Toy, Toy Freddy. Freddy was the revised version of the original Withered It was a twin. Designed to be less scary for the children visiting the well, he has Rogi Red Cheeks. As his name alludes, he is far more toy-like, with a glossy plastic sheen to his body and more rounded features. Although those soulless black eyes are pretty horrifying. Toy Freddy is no pushover. He strides towards the office, where our hapless security guard can only equip a Freddy mask in the hope this deceptively friendly looking animatronic will move on without trying to make it. But shouldn't Freddy not be fooled by this? Toy Freddy also speaks in both FNAF AR and Ultimate Custom Night. I don't His remember. His are pantomime like and recall the sound of mascots from kids' TV shows such as Barney the Dinosaur. That game was totally rigged! Yep. I've got a special present just for you. I don't remember that one. We first encountered this We also get encountered Fun Time Freddy in the other games. Exploring Circus Baby's entertainment and rental site in FNAF sister location. He has a large mouth full of chunky flat teeth and carries a mini puppet version of Bonnie known as Bon Bon on his right hand. The two work as a team, with Bon Bon distracting the player and allowing for Fun Time to launch a surprise attack. That's in VR form, we don't get the chance to do that in VR mobile. ...and sounds positively unhinged at times. I can't do the sister location custom night for some reason. Nothing in the thing. He was in part inspired by Pennywise the Clown from Stephen King's Ear. What? Quite frankly, explains a lot. Creepiest of all, if we take a close look at the blueprint for Funtime Freddy, we see There is no blueprint for FNAF 6, by the way. Sitting inside its stomach, it's Millie. It belongs to a girl called Millie, who climbed inside Funtime's stomach And that's where we got the song, Count. Sprite, volume 1, into the pit. The book alludes she did not make it out alive. And Funtime Freddy's haunted with Bon Bon as her. Helpy is a super cute miniature version of Funtime Freddy. He first appeared in FNAF 6 Pizzeria Simulator, where he featured in various minigames and throughout the in-game catalog. He also helped the player with paperwork if any lawsuits needed to be taken care of while running the pizzeria. Yeah, we didn't get to do that on camera. Since FNAF 6, he played a small role in VR game Help Wanted, as well as being selectable in Ultimate Custom Night, where he jump scares the player using an air horn. <laughs> If that was us asleep, we would probably be mad. Molten Freddy is a mess of wires, circuits, and, and Ennard. Eyeballs. He's Ennard. Himself from the remains of Ennard and can be salvaged and brought into the We should uh, We should an Ennard. If we look closely, we see what seem to be blood stains around his mouth, a mouth filled with jagged shark-like teeth. 
Eventually, Molten Freddy lives up to yeah, you guys kind of saw that already. Burned alongside the other animatronics during the game's true ending. That was not the game's true ending. Oh my god, how long have I been recording? That was first introduced in Pizzeria Simulator and... It's like my game was glitch or something. I've been recording for five minutes. Okay, I thought I was recording for like at least twenty-five minutes. It's just used for show purposes. We can buy Rockstar Freddy from the, what the heck? and place him on stage to rock out for our pizza-loving patrons. 